Graders, I'm Miss Diorio from Citizenship Academy, and we are getting into lesson four in module four today. So we're going to build a little bit off of what you did yesterday in lesson three by adding and subtracting multiples of ten with some ones. Okay, so make sure you have something to write with, something to write on, so we can work through the problems together, and then we'll get started. All right, so for this part, you don't need anything to write with. We're just going to say it out loud. So I'm going to put a number up. Ready? And I want you to tell me that number. Just say it in uniform. Sorry, standard form. What number is that? 174. Awesome. What digit is in the tens place? Just the digit. Seven. Beautiful. What is the value of that seven? How much is that seven? What does that seven stand for? 70. Very good. What's the value of the 1 in this problem? 100. Very, very good. And what's the place of the 4? So don't tell me the value. What place is the 4 in? The 1s. Very good. All right, let's try another number. Say this number. 258. Awesome. What digit is in the 10s place? Five. Very good. What's the value of that five? Five what? What does it mean? Five tens or fifty. Very good. What is the value of the two? Good. Two hundred. And state the place of the eight. What place is it in? The one's place. Awesome job. Let's do another one. Tell me this number. Say it in standard form. 734. Awesome. What digit is in the tens place? 3. Very good. What is the value of that 3? 10, 20, 30. Awesome. What's the value of the 7? 700. Very good. And state the place of the 4. The 1's. Awesome. All right, let's do another one. Woo. What number is this? Awesome, 860, you're doing great. What's the value, sorry, what's the digit in the tens place? I read that wrong. Six, good. What's the value of the six? 60, very good. State the value of the eight. 800, and state the place of the zero. The ones place, very good. All right, what number is this? 902. Awesome. What digit is in the tens place? Zero. Yeah. What's the value of the zero? Zero, right? Good. What's the value of the nine? 900. Awesome. And what's the place of the two? Once. Awesome work. Okay. So we're going to do a little re of a review about making ten. So when we're making a 10, it's not necessarily adding to 10, it's adding to the next 10. So that could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on and so forth, okay? So I'm going to give you a number, and I want you to tell me how many more we need to get to that 10. I've been doing this a lot, but it's good practice for us, especially, wink, wink, for a lesson for today. So if I say 6, we need 4 more to get to the 10, so you say 4. 6 plus 4 is 10, okay? So you're going to tell me how many when I snap my fingers, and then we're going to say the number sentence. So I'm going to give you 16. You're going to the next 10. Not going back to 10. You're going to the next 10. How many more do we need to get there? Four. Good. So we're going to put that in a number sentence now. Go ahead. Good. 16 plus 4 equals 20. Good for not going down to 10. We're going to go up to the next 10, which is 20. Awesome work. All right, we're at 7. How many do we need to get to the next 10? Three, very good. Now say the number sentence. Awesome job. All right, 17, use what you just did. How many do we need to get to the next 10? Not going back to 10, you're going up to the next 10. 10, 20. You need three, very good. Say the number sentence. 17 plus three equals 20. We're at 17, we're going to the next 10. All right, try this one. We're at 13, we have to get to the next 10. How many do we need? 
Seven. Very good. And what's the number sentence? 13 plus 7 is 20. Very good. Good job not going down. Okay, again, don't go down. You're going to go up to the next 10. We're at 23. How many more do we need to get to the next 10? 30. 7. Awesome. What's that number sentence? 23 plus 7 equals 30. Very good. All right, try this one. We're at 27. We're going up to the next 10. How many do we need to make a 10? 3. Awesome. 27 plus 3 is 30. We're at 42 now. We're going to go up to the next 10. We're going to make a 10. How many do we need? 8. Awesome. And what's that number sentence? 42 plus 8 equals 50. All right, we're going to skip these. Okay, what is the difference between these two sticks? So, yes, what's the difference between these two sticks? I'm not going to give you any more information. You might have said there's three more red, so the difference is three. Could we use a number sentence to represent the difference? I want you to pause, turn, and talk to somebody at home about what that number sentence might be. Good. So I'm seeing eight on the bottom and five on the top. We just talked about how the difference, and I can see it right here, is three. So I would say five, I'm sorry, eight minus five is three. Did you get that? Makes sense, right? So now I'm going to add a green cube onto each stick. When I did that, did the difference between the sticks change? Did the difference between the sticks? I'm not asking if the length of the stick changed. I'm asking if the difference in the length, the difference in the size of the sticks changed. It didn't, right? I'm still missing three. The difference is still three. So even though I added these extras on, because I added one to each one, the difference is still three, right? The green cube, just because I added it on, didn't change the difference because I added it to both sides. Okay? So, what is 36 minus 30? Take away the tens. Yeah, we end up with six. Good. We take three tens from three tens and we end up with six ones. So, I'm going to show you this problem. I want to do 34 minus 28. Okay. What do you notice? Talk to someone at home about the similarities between this number, this number sentence, and I'm going to write it on my board. 36 minus 20, sorry, 34 minus 28. What do you notice any similarities between this number sentence and 36 minus 30? Pause and talk about it. Yeah, you might have noticed, I have to, whoop, take away two. So I started at 36 and 30, right? To get to 34, I took away two. To get to 28, I took away two, right? I took away two from each. So if we do the same thing to each number, the difference should stay the same, right? Because here we did the same thing to both parts and the difference stayed the same. For our problem, we took away two from here and from here, so the difference should stay the same, all right? Because 34 minus 28 equals 36 minus 30, so the answer should still be six. So. What this is showing us is that we can use problems that are easier to solve for problems that are harder. If we make sure we do the same thing to both numbers, it makes the problems equal. It makes the equations equal. It makes the number sentence equal. So we can use easier problems like this to solve for harder problems like this as long as we do the same thing to both numbers. All right? So this is shown very easily when we do our number bonds. So when we do our number bonds, and we try and find making, try and make a 10, we're trying to find like terms. So when you're doing your number bonds in your exit ticket today, when you're solving your exit ticket today, 
what you're going to do is you're going to try and make tens. You're going to try and make it so it's easier for you to solve. So you have this easier problem to solve. So when you see 28 plus 36, your job is going to be to find a way to make a 10. So we can do that. How many do we need over here to make a 10? Yeah, two. So we have two here and then 34 extra. We're going to add these together and get 30. And what's left over? 34, right? It's 30 plus 34 much easier to add than 28 plus 36. Right? But they're the same thing. Because we did the same thing to both problems, we still get the same answer. This is equal to this. Okay? You're just finding ways to make 10 to make it easier for you to solve. All right, so let's try this next one together, and then I'm going to have you do one on your own. Okay, so I want you to write on your paper 19 plus 35. You're probably asking, why did we break the 35 down? What I like to do is this is a lot closer to a 10, so I think it's easier to break down the other number and get to 10. How many do we need to get from 19 to 20 to get to that next 10? just one right so we have one and 34. now we're going to make that 10 and get an equal problem get an equivalent problem just because the numbers are different we're just moving them around moving our ones around to make it easier for us to add so we get 20 plus 34. 20 plus 34 is equal to 30 20 20 plus 34, sorry, is equal to 19 plus 35. Just written differently, made into a 10, so it's easier for us to add. This is so much easier to add, right? What's that? Yeah, 54, you got it. So much easier. We're just moving the numbers around, making a 10, making an equivalent problem so that it's easier for us to add. All right? Try this one on your own. Pause. Try it on your own with the number mod, making a 10, and come back when you're ready. We'll go over it. Ready? So we have 36 and 29. Which number is closer to a 10? 29, good. So we're going to add, we're going to break 36 down into 35 and 1 because we need that 1. So now we're going to take 30, 29 plus 1 to get to 30. And then we're just going to add in our leftovers. 30 plus 35 gets us to 65. Awesome job. Thumbs up if you got that. Yeah, you did. You're awesome. Just making that 10 to make it easier for us to add. All right, try this one. 78 plus 24. Think about which number is closer to the 10, how you're going to make that 10, and then make your number bond based on that. So pause and do that now, and then come back when you're ready. Got it? Okay, so they broke down the 24 for you because 78 is closer to the next 10. 78 is closer to 80. So we're breaking 24 down into 2 and 22 because we need that 2. So then we're going to take 78 and 2, get to 80. Now our leftover is what? 22. Awesome. 80 plus 22, so much easier to add in our heads, in our charts, and wherever we're using so much easier to add than 78 plus 24, and they're equal, so we get the same answer. We're just moving those numbers around, making tens, making it easier for our brains. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do in your exit ticket. So this first one, you'll see it has one number sentence, two number sentences. That's because 23 minus 9 is equal to 24 minus 10. Same type of deal, same number sentence, they're equal to each other, so you just need to solve. I included the tape diagram to help you. This one you're solving for the equivalent number sentence. So that would be what this number sentence is with the tens. So you're going to have to make your number bonds to solve. I'm not telling you that's the right answer or not. Same thing down here. Make your number bond to solve. You got a tape diagram to help you. And then for these one, this one again, you're going to choose the one that makes more sense. I mean, the one that's easier to solve that made the 10. All right. You got this. Have fun making 10s, and I'll see you tomorrow.